Hey everybody, I'm so excited to be back here again today filming another video in Bible Journaling for Beginners. Today we're going to talk about my five favorite supplies, so let's go. Now guys, if I'm being completely honest, narrowing it down to my five favorite supplies is really, really hard. Um, there are tons of different supplies you can use in Bible journaling, but if I could only use five supplies, these are the ones I would use. And when I'm trying to get out just a little bit of stuff, these are typically the supplies that I pull out. So that's why I chose them to be my top five favorite supplies. Now, the first one on the list is pens. I love pens. I have a wide variety of pens, and we will talk about all the different pens that I have on a future episode. Um... But, I mean, I like all of the different pens. Different ones do different things, and I like different ones for different reasons. We'll go into deep detail on each of the pens later on, but know that pens is number one on my list. Now, number two should not come as a shocker to you. It is my Tombow Calligraphy Brush Pens. And I did put these as number two instead of including them with pens in number one because I always use these black pens. Um, they are my absolute favorite black pen. It's the only black pen I have found that will write over whenever I have done watercolor or painting or I've done a napkin. It always writes over really well. So those are my favorite. And I will tell you, I ordered these like probably back in August and it's February. And no, it's March. Oh my goodness, guys, it's March. So I ordered these in August and um, it's now March and I have not opened them yet because my other ones are still working good. So they do last a long time. Now, number three on my list is my super crayons. As y'all know from previous videos, I loved my watercolor crayons and I do still love my watercolor crayons. But I like the Super Crayons better. They have more vibrant colors in them. They are brighter. Um, they work just like the watercolor crayons, gelettos. It's all kind of the same thing. But the Super Crayons have bright, vibrant colors, and they have a really good price tag on them. Now, if I'm going to do any kind of watercoloring, then I have to have my Aqua Painter. And that's why my Aqua Painter is number four on my list, because it is one of my top favorite supplies. Um, I would recommend spending a little bit more money on your aqua painter than you would on just a regular paintbrush. I picked up some pretty cheap aqua painters from Hobby Lobby one time, and I'll be honest, I didn't like them. Um, I ended up, I was going to toss them, and my daughter wanted one, so I gave them to her, but I just didn't care for them. So be willing to spend a little bit more money on your aqua painter and get one that's going to work well. Now, number five, I actually don't have it here because my daughter stole it. Okay, so maybe she didn't steal it but she borrowed it and that means if I want it, I have to go to her room to get it back. But number five is my heat gun. Whenever I'm doing any kind of painting um, with my super crayons, I'm putting a napkin in, watercolor, just regular painting, I always use my heat gun. It helps with speeding up the drying process and makes Bible journaling, makes it so that I'm spending having less downtime in my Bible journaling and more time actually you know creating the art and spending time focusing on the word and not just will this hurry up and finish drying so it keeps me more focused and in line so i hope these five supplies helped you you can find links down below to all of them and if you have any questions just make sure to leave a comment and let me know i'll be glad to answer any of your questions about these five supplies if this video helps you in selecting supplies i hope you'll give it a thumbs up Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos and hit the little bell beside it so you'll get notifications and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys!